I, I be, you see, our issues are myriad. And I think overall, we, we lack all forms of development. Mm -hmm. And because of my activities in the space, I've gained firsthand insight of the needs of people. Mm -hmm. And so my knowledge of the issues are from my engagement, but also from my own day-to-day -day experiences. For example, me having to drive to Kingston for this interview. Now, mm -hmm. the issues are well known, but my difficulty was prioritizing those issues. Mm -hmm. So, so what I did was, and, and I didn't want to run the risk of injecting my personal view into the decision because I believe that that sets a bad precedent. So I have allowed the people to speak. So what I did was to develop a digital survey instrument. Yes. I included the issues. Naturally, I conflated some of them. But I engaged persons to participate in the survey using various means, mm -hmm. um, including social media. So persons had the opportunity to go on social media and indicate what their their greatest issue is. And mm -hmm. I also got messages from persons. And through face-to-face -face dialogue, I recorded a lot of data. And so yeah. overall, maybe about 112 persons or so participated in the survey. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the sample that I have um, is a microcosm of the constituency itself. So it's accurate enough data. And the result of that survey showed one particular issue eclipsing all others. It gained 78.5% of the responses. Mm -hmm. And I often hear the Chinese say, the road to development begins with a road. Yes. <laughs> and if you're fond of that statement, it's quite profound because we lack several of those. Yes. So with the exception of like the new developments that we have, the Stonebrooks and the Florence Hall, um, Coral Spring, the Hollands, where you know that the roads within those developments will be good. Mm -hmm. The longest stretch of road that's in good repair in, in that constituency is the highway that runs through the constituency. Right. From the east in St. Anne border to the west at the St. James border. That's the best stretch of road that we have. If you at any minute decide to venture off of that main road, you're going to find yourself in problems. I will highlight the Falmouth to Greenville which has been quite a hot button issue. Mm -hmm. And I will also highlight the Salt Marsh to Kent Road. And we have others, the Rio Buena to Brampton, for example. And these roads have been particularly troubling for a number of years. They haven't happened overnight. It is because of a lack of maintenance and attention why our constituency is in the condition that it is. And I would challenge anyone, just name a community in Trelawney and Northern, mm -hmm. and I can almost guarantee that the residents will confirm the existence of poor roads. Right. So for me, for me, roads are the arteries through which an economy pulses. And why I say that is because we, it links producers or purveyors to market. It links workers to jobs. It links students to school, the sick to hospital. And if we believe the Chinese mantra, it would mean that roads should be vital to development, to any development agenda. Right. So if that premise holds true, Based on the state of our roads, the only conclusion I can come to is that Trelawney Northern has had no development agenda for a very long time. Wow. Wow. And it is that serious. So basically what you're saying to us, Tova, is that part of your focus is on the road infrastructure in Northern Trelawney. Priority number one must be roads. I think the, the people have spoken and I believe that their word is law. But outside of that, there are other issues and I, can, I will name them. Um, yes. Community development, community development is an issue. Um, a lot of young people, for example, feel that they're not being engaged. That's another issue. Um, we have an issue with garbage collection, to be honest. At least 40% of the people believe that. Education is also another issue. Employment is another issue. Mm -hmm. We lack street lights, basic street lights. Basic street lights. In, in, 2020. in 2020, we lack basic street lights in some communities. So by the time six o'clock comes, you know, so you have to get home because you cannot be on the streets. It is not safe. Water and broadband services. I think that those two issues were tied. And mm -hmm. here I am in Kingston doing this interview with you. There is a lack of MSME support. Um, mm -hmm. Indigent housing is another issue and agriculture. Those are the issues. And I give and I've given them to you in the priority with which the people determine that they should. They should be. And I, I visited Trelawney recently, and one thing I can tell you, your farmers are, are, are energized and, 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 and bubbling. So for you to put road as one of your priorities.